All right, I'm back. We're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some fun electrical videos. Um, that's what I was doing before, and you know, I kind of got away from it for a little while there. We started doing some um, just other stuff. And anyways, I'm done doing that. So I'm gonna get back to doing what I like to do. Today, we're gonna take some outlets. You wanna take the pieces off of the outlets. You gotta take those screws out like that. I can't tell you what I'm showing you, but I wanna do some live streams. Um, we're just gonna have some fun. We're gonna do things that are easy, things that I like doing. I like breaking shit break some stuff. So we're gonna put these outlets in a industrial raised cover. Some people call it an 88 raised because it looks like two eights into a four square deep, four inch by four inch. I should say, it should be four inches down to make it four square, but that's what they call it, a four square. 88 raised goes on the four square. And we're going to take an old cord, something you probably got laying around and you're going to just throw away. We're going to make it into a better outlet, a super outlet with multiple outlets. So you're going to take your, your two outlets and you're going to break them down. You're going to cut off all of the, see uh, this one's got all the parts cut off of it all the way around. Parts meaning the brackets. I'm going to cut those two off right there. Those two. So get those off. They've got a little line. Let's see if you can get close here. See the little line uh, right there. That little line. We're going to cut that line off. You can cut it if you've got some good cutters, which pff, I don't, obviously. So you can cut it or you can take it like this and then just break it off. That's easy. So anyways, yeah, I want to do some uh, live streams. I want to kind of just take some questions. Anybody's got electrical questions. You don't want to hire an electrician. I don't blame you, they're expensive. Um, you gotta take this little guy here. This is a, a Romex connector or a two screw connector. And you're gonna knock out part of your box. I'd pick one without the eccentrics. Oops, I'd pick out one without the eccentrics because then it doesn't break out that uh, three quarter as well. Take this one, hit it with a needle nose. Reach it out of the inside. That's it. Take your uh, two screw connector. Loosen that up. Stick that inside the box. Let's try to adjust this a little bit. It's kind of tough the way I have that set up. So, what we're going to do is use power drill. Power drill. This guy in here. Open those up a little bit. Stick those inside the box like that. You drill. Screw those things down. Those two screws. Two screws. Oh yeah. Nailed it. Actually, I screwed it. Okay. Sometimes the connector loosens back up. That's all right. We're going to get some wire off the wall over there. I don't want a little piece of wire. Get our knife. Try to roll it. Throw that on the ground. Put that in the recycle bin. Cycle it. <laughs> Take it. Cut it in half. Now you have two sections. This is important right here. Stripping off the wire. Strippers. Index finger like this. Wire goes into the stripper. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. Strip. Easy breezy, right? Try to do it fast because I don't want the bit video to be boring. When we do live streams though, we're gonna do some long ones. We're gonna go, we're gonna take, as soon as YouTube lets me out live stream, for some reason they won't, I don't know. Maybe they're mad at me for not making videos for two years. 
That's probably what it is. Okay, got hooks. Got all these little hooks. Now this, um, so I want to point out one thing about hooks. You make a hook. See how I start and finish at the same spot? Uh, right there. Start and finish at the same spot. So where the start and the finish is, right there. It's important because when you go to put it on your on your outlet, it doesn't hang down so much that it's going to touch other wires. So then just take white and green always go on the same side. Just screw the other ones in. The ones you're not using, doesn't matter. Put a hot on the other side. Easy breezy. That one's done. Leave it on. Throw it on the ground. This one. Boom. Take these two, like this, take them both, pick about six inches up, cut them all off. Take them, strip them out. Easy, easy, easy. So now what do we have? Two outlets with pigtails. You can call them pigtails. Call them whatever you want. I don't care what you call them. Little pieces of wire. Two outlets with little pieces of wire. Little pieces of wire. Okay. Now we need to get some out. Some wire nuts out. Oh. So I've got some wire nuts. Wire nuts. We got the tanner red. Make sure there's nothing inside of it. Give them a little blow blow. These are just reds. Reds. Tanner red, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what kind you use. Use whatever makes you happy. Always take your, when it's a stripped wire like that, when it's stranded, you want to twist those up. What I like to do, it's not super important, because you got all this extra. See how that's, see how it's got all that extra, right? Let's see if I can get a good angle here. All that extra crap on there. I like to just take that and just trim that off a little bit. Crap, I mean rubber, it's the, so rubber between them, so that I just cut it off, see? Easy. That'll fit down inside that wire nut better. Okay, so the one with the ribbed, ribbed, it's not ribbed for your comfort, it's ribbed. The ribbed one right there, it's got little ridges on it, that's always your neutral. Neutral. Put it all in there. Boom. Done. Hot one. Make sure they're lined up good so they're not one's not in front of the other one too much. Boom, to the ground. Same little fly for the ground. Perfect example, see the ground fell back out. So, try to make sure you tug on the wires and make sure they don't fall back out because you want to make sure you get a good connection.
Okay. Now, we're gonna kinda just let those hang out all crazy like that. So now you got craziness in a box. Wipe the sweat off, it's important. 88's got some screws already in it. I'm gonna put that on that outlet. It doesn't matter how you do it, whether it's like this or like that or like this or like that, which is the same thing as the first two times that I did it. Put that in there. I think these are more just like for, you know, holding it kind of in place. I don't really feel like that. That one screw really does anything. So we'll add some more screws. So then you take your screws that you took out of it earlier, all the screws you took out earlier. Yep. And then these little plates that I took off, which you didn't see me take off, but they were inside of the 88 raised cover. They were just little tabs. Those go behind. Those little tabs sit right here behind the outlet and then the screw goes through. See that? So now the tab's in, hanging out in there, and then the screw's in. So it kind of like creates a little plate. We'll do the rest of those kind of quick because I don't want this video to be a live stream how long it is. Kind of think about what kind of content you guys want to see. Anything. I mean, you want to put a ceiling fan in your house? I'll just start recording while I'm on my job site. You just see what I actually do. I don't really care. I don't know. I'm just going to strip it out. I want to strip it out. See that? Stripping it out. Bad idea. Oh, pull through. Pull through. Yep. Yep. Strip down. Unless it's not going to hurt me, not going to hurt you, not to worry about it. Take those screws out of the box. Screws out of the box here and there. Up in the corner. Dip, 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 dip. There. Fold all this in there. Just the only thing really I'm not sure is you don't touch the ground to the hots. I'm going to keep that away from it. So just kind of move those around. Push it down inside of there. Like that. And then put the two screws back in. it. We just resurfaced, repurposed I should say, plug in with a better end on it. Now plug one in and get four. Let's just test it out, huh? Let's test it out. Let's have a tester. Now the thing is it's not GFI protected, so you know that's for personnel protection. You don't have 
you know, the personnel protection that you need, you make sure you plug it into something that's GFI protected. So let's plug it in and see what we get. Anyways, broken tester, perfect example. <laughs> Make sure you have the tools that are working. Anyways, um, that's the video. Simple pimple, huh? Easy, easy. And I got uh, four plugs for one. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember, I'm going to do some live streams, so um, wrap some sweat off. Uh, if you got questions, um, you want something specific that we can build, that we can do, um, whether it's panels or outlets or switches or lights or uh, VFDs, uh, motor starters, motor savers, you've got uh, whatever it is question you have that you're going to hire an electrician. You're going to hire somebody to come in to your house and do it. And when you want to be able to do it yourself, just, just send me a message or share this message or this video with somebody else who wants to do something. And you can save yourself a lot of money because you're a homeowner and homeowners can do their own stuff as long as they don't, um, as long as they don't hire somebody not licensed. Uh, you have to be licensed in most states. And so, um, anyways, if you've got any questions electrically about anything you ever want to do um, or you want to do a video call and we can do a, a two people on the call and we can live stream it so other people can learn from it, let's do it.